Well, let, let's reason about it, shall we? Okay, so let's, let's reason about it. Let's reason our way through, okay? So first of all, it goes like this. Uh, the world has installed about a trillion dollars worth of data centers. Those trillion dollars worth of data centers use as general, pers- general purpose computing. General purpose computing is run its course. We cannot continue to process that way. And so the world is going to accelerate everything. Data processing, you name it, okay? And so we're going to accelerate everything. When we accelerate everything, every single data center, every single computer will be an accelerated server. Well, there's about a trillion dollars worth of computers if we don't grow at all um, over the next, call it four years, that we have to go replace. Four years, six years, pick your, pick your number of years. But if, we, if the computer industry continues to grow at some 20% or so, um, we'll probably have to replace over the course of next, you know, pick your number of years, about $2 trillion dollars worth of computers with accelerated computing. So just make that GPUs, okay? Um, that's number one. And this is the second part. This is, this is the reason why um, all of you, Stripe, you're onto something just absolutely monumental. This idea, this idea called, and you know, you've heard me say, an industrial revolution. Let me tell you why. We are producing something for the very first time that has never been produced before. And we're producing it in extremely high volume. And the production of this thing requires a new instrument that never existed before. It's a GPU. And the thing that we're producing for the very first time, for the mathematicians and all the computer scientists in the room, for all of you, you know that we're producing tokens. We're producing floating point numbers at high volume for the first time in history, and the floating point numbers have value. The reason why they have value is because it's intelligence. It's artificial intelligence. You can take these floating point numbers, you reformulate it in such a way that it turns into English, French, proteins, chemicals, graphics, images, videos, robotic articulation, steering wheel articulation. We're producing tokens at extraordinary scale. Now, we've discovered a way, through all of the work that we do with artificial intelligence, to produce tokens of almost any kind. So now, the world is going to produce an enormous amount of tokens. Now, these tokens are going to be produced in new types of data centers. We call them AI factories. Back in the last Industrial Revolution, water comes into a, a machine. You light the water on fire, right? Turn it into steam, you know, and then it turns into electrons. Atoms come in, electrons go out. In this new Industrial Revolution, electrons come in, and floating point numbers come out. And Just like the last Industrial Revolution, nobody understood why these electricity is so valuable and is now sold, right, marketed kilowatt, kilowatt hours you know, per dollar. And so now we have a you know, million tokens per dollar. And so that same logic is as incomprehensible to a lot of people as the last Industrial Revolution, but it's going to be completely normal in the next 10 years. Well, these, these, tokens, these tokens are going to create new products, new services, enhanced productivity on a whole slew of industries, $100 trillion dollars worth of industries on top of us. And so this industry is going to be gigantic. And in order to, to monetize that, transact that, you're going to need Stripe. And so 